Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Mike Cockrell and I want to thank you so much for joining me for another episode uh, from my book, Why Am I So Happy? My Prescription for Success and Happiness. In today's session, we're going to be sharing another uh, chapter from my book, Why Am I So Happy? Uh, so that we can sort of look into the insights of um, what was going on a couple of years ago when I wrote these and sort of update this, this message and make it more relevant to today. You know, episode 3 is the one we're doing today and it's called Design Your Own Life Plan. The quote uh, that I was working with when I, I wrote this essay was one by Jim Rohn and Jim Rohn is one of my all-time favorite success coaches and his quote simply was this if you don't design your own life plan chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan and guess what they have planned for you not much you know Jim Rohn spent his entire life doing personal development and he has left his mark on that area probably more strongly than anyone else you know and when I was reading his quote uh, a couple of years ago these were the thoughts that were going through my mind the late Jim Rohn is likely one of my favorite authors of all time he has a way of speaking and writing that makes you drop your jaw and say wow why am I not already thought of that he keeps things simple so that anyone can understand where he's coming from today I want to share some thoughts about designing your own life do you have a plan for your life? Are you just playing it by ear, hoping things work out for you? I used to do that same thing. I had a vague idea of where I wanted to be, but I did not have a firm plan about where I should be going. As I look back over the past two or three decades of my life, I'm often amazed at how far I have come. What amazes me even more is how much stumbling around I have done without a clear vision of where I was headed. I always had plans of sort, but I never really planned. The first three decades of my life were spent following that path that everyone else had laid before me. Go to school, get a good job, work hard, and things will be fine. Well, two divorces and 20 jobs later, I began to question whether that path was really the right one for me or not. I was 35 years old when I started my career as a physician. I was one of the oldest students in my class, and I was also one of the more motivated in the class. I had stumbled around long enough, and I had finally stopped long enough to draft a plan of action. I was helped along by the fact that the path was pretty clear. So for the next seven years, I put my nose to the grindstone and emerged as a full-fledged family practice doctor and started my clinical practice. It has only been since that time that I have learned to plan and design my life the way I want it to be. I can tell you right now, it is well worth it. If you're thinking about taking a trip across the country to a place you'd never been before, would you just jump in your car and take off down the road? Not likely. Most of us would take out a map, find the specific destination that we're looking to visit, then we would plot a course using the map, or we would at least plug the destination into our trusty GPS so that we had driving directions available to us. Why do we do things differently in our lives? Do you have a destination clearly in your mind of where you're going to be this time next year, in five years, or in ten years from now? If not, it's time to start planning, or you'll likely find yourself five or ten years older and still wandering aimlessly through life with no clear direction. Your life is going to pass you by. It is much better to have a clear direction, to be moving towards your destination, than to be going in circles only to find that you keep ending up at the same old crappy place you were trying to get away from. That being said, here is what I would recommend you do. Set aside a little bit of time today. That's right, do it today. If you wait for tomorrow, or next week, or later this year, you're just going to be wasting that much more time. Stop procrastinating and making excuses. Get your butt in gear. Do this now. Find a piece of paper or use your computer. Find your journal, whatever you like. Doesn't matter what you use as long as you actually use something. These things need to be written down. 
The power is in writing them down so that you can revisit them from time to time. Next, I want you to close your eyes and begin to imagine all of the things that you would like to be in your life right now, in a year, in five years, and so forth. As you develop a clear image of what you want your life to be like, write those thoughts down on the piece of paper. We could spend more time with the process later, but for right now, I want you to dream, and I want you to dream big. Continue working on creating a clear vision of what your life will look like. You can always come back and add to this as you begin to gain more clarity. The key today is for you to get started. It is impossible to arrive at your destination if you do not even get started along the journey. I challenge you today to start dreaming again. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Until we begin to have a vision of where we want to be and how we want our life to become, we are stranded. Having no vision or dream is like being stranded on a deserted island with no hope of ever being found. You can walk around the island, but you always return to the same stinking beach that you started from. Build your life raft in your mind and then start living that dream every day. So that was my message a couple of years ago when I wrote that. And that message really today is still pretty much the same. You know, there's an old saying out there, if you plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so what I really want to emphasize today is take some time to structure a life plan. It doesn't have to be complete. It doesn't have to be extremely detailed to start with. But until you can begin to create a vision, create a path, set your subconscious mind uh, on a process of planning where you're going to be in the future, it's very difficult um, to get where you want to be in life. I mean, it's, it's very simple. I mean, you're going to read a lot, and we're going to talk a lot about living in the now. And I think you need to live and be present in each moment right now. But I also believe that at some point you have to look forward and think about where you're going because when you just focus on today without any real planning for the future, then tomorrow when that day comes, you're, you're going to be struggling to keep up. So that's our message for today. I hope you have found this information beneficial. I hope the messages that I'm sharing with you uh, through these blog posts, through my podcast, through my website are beneficial. I would love for you to connect with me if you feel they are, and I'll give you that information in just a little bit. Before that, I really want to give a special thanks to Chad Martin um, and Laurel Rose Publishing. Chad's become one of my best friends over the last uh, several years. He's a business partner of mine. And he does a wonderful job at Laurel Rose Publishing, helping people put their ideas, thoughts, and dreams into writing. Uh, if you want more information about how to develop a program of your own, how to write your book, um, where to get your book published, visit him at www.laurelrosepublishing.com. And then finally, connect with me. You know, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to get your feedback. I'd love your questions. I'd love to know what you think about the work I'm doing. You can get me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Mike Cockrell. I'm on LinkedIn as well at Dr. Cockrell. You can email me at drmikecockrell at gmail.com. And certainly you can visit my website at www.drmikecockrell.com. So until next time, I look forward to speaking with you. I look forward to working with you, and I hope you have a really wonderful day.